is happening guys welcome back to another james j pagan video they are coming thick and fast i told you i was going to start putting more effort into these videos and making sure that i get you one a week 7 p.m every sunday so as promised here is another video now um i'm in my car as you can see um or as i like to call it uh my shed on wheels um no, that's not that bad but um yeah anyway we are on the way um, to Bristol Airport. Now the reason we're on the way to Bristol Airport is quite clearly because I'm going to be catching a plane um, but no I'm on my way um, to the airport for some work travel so I'm off to Spain um, for work for a couple of days and I thought what better um, excuse or what better way to take you through a full day of travel um, with myself. Um, so we're flying off to Madrid um, today and then we'll be driving to a second location in Spain tomorrow evening but I thought I would take you through the travel today um, and also a workout in the hotel gym because I know hotel gyms can be quite tricky sometimes so I will catch up with you at the airport um, where I will try and get a bite to eat for dinner right we are now past all the traffic which means it is plain sailing to the airport and just an absolute essential for any travel is Monster Energy. Now, my favorite probably has to be the yellow one, which is like Fanta Ice Lemon. This is like Fanta Orange, which is a close second for me. But I have seen on people's Instagram lately that the Blue Monster, which I think is some sort of like a raspberry-ish flavor, uh, seems to be making its way over from the United States of America. So I cannot wait to try that. But I'm gonna net this, get buzzed for the rest of this journey, and I can see more traffic ahead of me, which is depressing me. Ah, traffic. just went to Barbarito um, to get some dinner for the flight because so I'm probably not going to arrive to the hotel till like 8 o'clock at night at which point I want to go and get a gym session in if it is open so uh, the plan was to get some food in for the flight which I've done easy to track as well because they've got like a nutrition calculator online and obviously you can just add it through MyFitnessPal which is a top tip um, when you're traveling try and stick to foods that you know you can track it just makes it easier for like peace of mind and stuff um, And I've also got some protein bars with me, which I'll eat in the hotel later It's like my final snack a little bit of a pre-workout um, and then probably do some editing go to bed So go down to the gate um, Jump on the plane there. I think I'm gonna read on the plane. I brought a book with me um, that I'm not far off finishing and I only ever read when I travel so quite looking forward to reading for a bit, but Anyway, I will catch up with you um, on the plane or the other side. Right, so I have finally got to the hotel room after, um, actually the journey was actually really, really good and even when I landed here, like the first taxi there took card and I got here in like 20 minutes and I've checked in already. So uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a room tour. So what I'll do is I'll switch the camera around um, so you guys can see and we will get back to the door and start again. So uh, as you walk through the door, obviously you've got a little foyer and then I haven't actually been in the bathroom yet. So here is the bathroom, big. Big, 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 big shower, so that's gonna be quite nice. And then, big sink, haven't tested the lighting out yet, so it'd be good to see how good that is. Um, but yeah, typical European fashion, we have got the douche on the side as well, be making good use of that. Um, we come out, 
and we've just got area for suitcase obviously like fridge and safe and stuff here and then we've got like a little lounge area here so I've got my laptop and stuff set up ready and then of course we have got the bed so all in all like the room's really really nice quite big um, literally can't complain at that at all um, so what I'm planning on doing now is I've actually just checked and the um, the gym is 24 hours so what we're going to do is we're going to head straight down to the gym because one of the things I like doing whenever I travel with work is getting in a gym session because I think it just flushes your body of any um, bloat from the flight and I am feeling very very bloated um, but also it's going to help me sleep um, and it's just going to get me um, a bit more relaxed uh, so what I actually did was when I looked at the hotel I made sure I had a decent gym and from the reviews it does look like a very very good gym so what I'm going to do is film a workout for you guys um, which you'll see in a minute um, and then I think I might actually do a separate video of like a full work hotel workout walkthrough um, that's a bit of a mouthful trying to say that trip fast full hotel workout walkthrough walkthrough hotel walk hotel workout walk yeah I can't do it so I'm going to catch you guys in the gym um, and hopefully we'll be able to get a decent pump in before bed because it is about half past 10 at night now so I need to get it done get it done quickly and get into bed so luckily guys I've just come into the gym and it is actually pretty sick so I'll give you like a obviously a gym bit of a gym tour um, as I said I try and stick to my workouts as best possible so what we're going to do today is um, a chest workout and the reason I'm going to pick chest is because it's I would say one of the most like transferable, what I mean by transferable is that you can do it in pretty much any gym, even if it's a hotel gym, because there's always going to be dumbbells, there's always going to be some sort of machine. So without further ado, let's get cracking on with this workout. <laughs> As the workout done and um, we're just going to check how we're looking in this hotel lighting because I don't know about you but whenever I travel and there's different like, different types of lighting I always like to see what my, what my body looks like and you usually get some really really naughty down lighting in hotels because they want you to look good and want you to feel good in the hotel so when you leave you feel happy and you have a better review so that is all by design guys all by design but make the most of that lighting that's all I can say so we're going to plop the camera down have a look and um, see how we're looking and then I'll catch back up with you in the room. Right, I'm now back up in the hotel room. I'm just about to jump in the shower and then I'm going to go to bed. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, something slightly different. Um, I have got some more work travel coming up, so maybe I'll try and get a vlog or two in. So as I said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future content and get sharing, guys. I will check you out in the next video. Peace.